The new year is a really great time to make goals and resolutions and you know a year is a, a great period of measurement. You can get a lot done in a year. So we all have things that we would like to have happen in the next year. And, for, and I've got a lot of goals, you know, uh, relationship, business, personal. And on the business side, one of the things that I would like to do is have more attention on how I hold my body while I work. Sometimes I find myself like this. I know you know what I mean. Sometimes I'm slouching, but I'd like to pay more attention to how I hold myself while I'm working. And I've been taking these Skype personal training sessions. I've got this guy. He is amazing. And you know, I thought I knew a lot about fitness uh, after, you know, being a competitive athlete for my throughout my youth and I know a thing or two, but I've spent my whole, you know, sort of fitness world going like this, sort of, you know, contracting and 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 building and muscle and like, you know, power and um, what I've learned is a little bit of stability and I actually brought him here because I can't articulate this in the way that he can. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's really helped me and uh, I now have more attention and will continue to have more attention on how I hold myself. I feel better in my neck. So I'd like to bring on my Skype personal trainer uh, who has accolades that I will list off once he tells me what they are. Um, Zenon. So this is Zenon. Zenon, hello. Hello. Thanks for doing? coming. I'm happy to be here. I watched some of your videos with Carrie and online and whatnot. So and you're now here. Yeah, I'm in, in, in right? the, Yeah, okay, you've so, made it. Yeah. Um, so Zenon has, I'm not going to say fixed my body because I wasn't broken, but has, you've really helped me sort of understand the mechanics of my body and, and fix nagging injuries that I've had for years. And when you were working with me, I was thinking, what, what are we even doing? Like, this is certainly not going to do anything. I'll, I will, I will, you know, entertain you, but I don't imagine this is going to have any sort of effect because it was so gentle, you know? Um, well, I appreciate the credit you're giving me in saying, you know, I helped fix some of those injuries, but what I have learned over time, and I talked a little bit before we were rolling with the cameras, the Eastern influences that I've had in my background and the Western influences and how I try and marry those two. And, and one thing that I've, I've found is I've developed a great respect for the human body, for its own powers, its own wisdom. And so what I try to do is I just try to give your body the, mo the best chance, the most advantageous environment for it to do its own thing mm. and address your, your pains and whatnot. And, and with a little bit of help here and there, a little tinkering where we, you know, put the right weights in the right places, uh, I see the body doing the majority of the work though. Yeah. Okay, so you're humble, but, I, and one of the things, which is nice. Um, but I, I, <laughs> I fail at this, I appreciate you <laughs> well, saying One of the things that we have strengths. in common, yeah. one of the things that we have in common is we both love the body. Yes. We're interested in, in movement and being in our bodies and stuff. And you, I talk to you, when I go to events and I go to, uh, and I put on masterminds, I always ask people, you know, how do you feel in your body? How does you, and, and you know, how do you work? And do you feel stiff? And oftentimes you report that you are, um, your neck and shoulders are tight. That is a common thing that people report to me is their neck and shoulders hurt. And what can people do to sort of maybe relieve some of that? Well, the quickest, easiest way is to get a masseuse to massage them. Right. But that's, that's going to relieve the pain. That's not going to solve the problem. And uh, just by virtue of, of being in, in a, a computer-driven society, we are continually in this flexed forward position. We get in the cars and we're flexed forward. And I think- We lift weights. We're flexed we're, we lift, <laughs> a lot of guys lift weights. A lot of people uh, lift weights and they're, and they're very flexed forward. Um, and, and one of the things that I help uh, people do and help their bodies get is, is more length. Mm. I find the body responds very well to being long. When there's an injury in the body, one way um, uh, various therapists will help to help a limb is often through traction. Mm. Uh, back pains, people hang in the inverted tables, and there's a gentle traction through the spine to help lengthening. Them. Right. So if we use our own muscles and our own body in a long position, it's going to free up. It's going to take stress out of the joints, and the muscles will then be holding that. So you're a person, and you're sitting at your desk for six hours a day, eight hours a day, twelve hours a day. Mm -hmm. What can you do every so often? Well, uh, one of the things I have people do, <coughs> excuse me, when they're at their desks and they ask me what they can do at work is a flexion extension exercise for the upper back. At home, if you have foam rollers, you have massage tools that you can do to loosen up the tissue through the upper back, that area between the shoulder blades, that's excellent. But right at your desk, 
you can right in your a, chair. Yeah, a flexion. So you kind of move back away from the desk a few feet. And what you want to do is allow yourself to exhale and allow yourself to just completely round forward like that. Okay. So kind of let your neck hang there. Yeah, and take a deep breath in and really just kind of surrender to gravity and let it and let it pull. And then you're going to lift your chest by reaching your butt out behind you. And lift your chest really, really high. Not your chin, your chest. So tuck the chin a little bit right. And we're lifting that really high. So now we're getting ourselves really, really long. We're going to lightly put our fingers behind our ears. Now what we saw right away is his shoulders jump up into his ears. I do have a habit of that. I always Relax do that. your shoulders. Good. So what we're doing is we're getting ready to round the back and move the shoulder blades through the back. But if we elevate the shoulders, we're pinching the neck and creating soreness in that neck. So now when you round forward, you're going to bring your elbows together and round forward. Drop the head. Good. And then we're going to lift the chest and we're going to open. Drop those shoulders away from the ears. Lift the chest more and more and more and more. Keep lifting. Good. And then down. Right. I mean, that's intense actually. Right. So we want to continue to do that. How many times? at least three to six, six to eight times. Wow. Now, when you do not want to feel a strain, you just want to feel the full extension. Now, the one thing we, we didn't do when we went through the, the just the movement is we didn't include the breath. So we're going to exhale on the way down and we're going to inhale on the way up. Do not hold your breath. Okay. That's which is what I was doing. Right. So once you're, you're finished your inhalation, don't worry about how far you've gotten turn the other direction for the exhalation. And so this kind of just gets you kind of going or? Well, what we're doing is we're extending the upper back and we're doing it with a lot of repetitions. We're taking pressure off the discs in your vertebrae and we're opening and expanding the lungs. So we're gonna promote bl more blood circulation through your body into the brain because we're fatigued from being in this flex forward position, restricting our breath and working harder and harder mentally at these computers. So we're gonna open so we could breathe better, straighten the upper back, get more oxygen, and keep working that flex forward position the other way. Okay? Shoulders so now we're down, gonna try it. Chest we're, gonna try we're, going, we're, we're doing this. Reps. We're doing this like for real, for real. Exhale, All right, here we go. inhale. Okay, so first sit tall. So that's your starting position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and surrender and fold all the way down. Now, once you're done in exhaling, inhale and right back up. So lift the chest high, 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 high. And you're holding your breath. Exhale and come back down. So no holding. Change direction once you're done inhaling. In and change. Good. So the hips are another area that get very tight from being in this in this uh, seated position a lot. So we want to stretch it in, in, in two different ways. We'll start with one. Okay. We're stretching the muscles through the butt. We're crossing our foot over our knee like that. We're and, playing footsie or not? Right. We're playing a little footsie. Right. Footsie. So you want to make sure your foot, your toes are pulling towards your knee. That's going to protect your knee. Now all you're going to do is hold on to your foot and your shin Grace up, and pull and lift the chest nice and high. And for, for some people, that's already going to be a stretch through your glute. And if it's not, then you're going to pull your chest forward this way. It's very common. I can't people, even do that. that. That's to just lift your chest high and breathe. And now any static stretching, when you hold, you're going to accompany it with continuous deep breathing. A lot of people do this stretch this way. No, no, no. It's useless. You got to pull your chest high and reach your bending from the hip here. Okay. And hold three to six breaths. You want to keep breathing until you feel a bit of a tissue quality change. You just want to feel it relax just a little bit. What if, what if you're out. like, so far, what if you're out of shape and you can't actually get this position? You can't even get it up. Yeah. Let's say you can't get to here. What do you do? Then you're going to lift your knee up. Just kind of get a little stretch right? going. And then you can pull your foot a little bit this mm. way. And then even if you just pull a little bit this way, you're still going to get into the side of that glute a little bit. Okay. Now, if you only can get your foot here and the second you lift your chest, you feel a pull, you don't need to go any further. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly flexible, as you know. And I'm like here, I'm golden. I yeah, feel yeah. like that's a nice stretch, you know. But you still need to be lifted a little more. Right. See how right, right away, when I said that, you got to taller. Right. That's where you want to be. With that core engaged. Don't worry about the core being engaged. You want the upper back engaged because that's what's pulling you into extension. Because where that stretch is coming from is bending at the hip. Once you bend from the back, you're no longer doing the stretch right. anymore. How okay? often? That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. How often would you recommend that people do this on a daily basis? Well, it depends. You know, if you kind of go here and then you reach forward like the way I just did and there's no stretch there, then, you know, it's going to feel nice. You do it, you know, um, before lunch on your break and that's about it. You know, if you're somebody who's really tight, I would sit down and I would start my working day at my desk 
with you know three to six reps, you know six to eight breaths on each side, and then before break, basically every time you're getting out of your chair, going back into your chair, you're gonna you're gonna loosen up the back of your hips. And the goal here is not to become a superstar fitness person. It's just to be aware of how you hold your body. You know, to actually have some of your attention on like. How does it feel to be sitting here right now? And oh, you're not kind of hurt. Like to just have some awareness while we're working of how we're holding our bodies. Absolutely. When you know, because it's easy to not to non-confront it and pay no attention. Yeah. You know, to to how you are how you are sitting. So there's um, one more exercise that you that you showed me earlier that mm -hmm. I think would be cool because it's uh, you could do it right from the desk and it yeah. and it's uh, it's like a full body thing. Yeah. Can, can I add one more thing? So if you're just working at your desk and, and you've heard so many different things about posture and this person says, pull my shoulders back, don't think about any of those things. Just think that you're a marionette and you're hanging from a string. And if you're hanging from a string, you're gonna dangle from it. So just think it's attached to the top of your head and you're just dangling. So all of this is hanging off the string. And so all this is relaxed, and you're, but you're straight. Now you can't sit like this for the entire day so it's fine to lounge, it's, it's fine to just relax, but just Take don't it do in. it all the time. Right. You know, spend some time being aware of your posture. And if you're doing that a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and if you can keep remember to be hanging from that string, when you do hang, it is actually the least amount of stress on your body. It's the least fatiguing. But that takes time, a little bit, a little bit each day over Consistency. time. Consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, consistency is a key in our conversations. It's, or sorry, it comes up a lot mm -hmm. in many different contexts. Yeah. Um, so the other exercise I, want, I wanted to show was actually utilizing the desk uh, in a way to just kind of cre like take the whole body and turn it into a pump and just pump your blood throughout your whole body um, and uh, you know something you can easily do at your desk. That's not something easy to do at a desk. So let's do it. Show, yeah, want, absolutely. All right, so listen, All right. here we are. Mm -hmm. We're in the same room we were in before. Right. And we've moved to a different angle. Um, okay. <laughs> now, you train Carrie, my wife. Yes. For those of you who don't know. Yes. You train me. Yes. And you're constantly having a squat. We're always squatting. Yes. There's a, what is, why are we always doing this? Squat is, is the king of all exercises. Is it? It requires uh, you to um, uh, stabilize your posture, which you have to do all the time. And you have hip, knee, and ankle, all the three joints of your lower body, flexing all the way and extending all the way when you can go all the way down. Well, the reason I love it so much is because people don't know that the blood in your body does not get back to your heart without movement. Mm. It's not just circulating through. No, no, gravity is, 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 is pulling it down. The heart is pumping it out and the way it gets back up is it goes through the vein, hits a valve, the valve closes, it stays there. So when you move, you are pumping blood back up through your body into your heart. So you're promoting blood circulation, getting oxygen to your body, helping your body be healthy and keeping you alert. Okay. And, a, and a full body squat is well, pumping at the Well, you showed me one that can yeah. be done right at the desk. Yeah, which well, you I can body weight was... squat anywhere. But the problem is, is not everybody can body weight squat. And when you have a desk, it is a great tool to help you do a full body weight squat, regardless if you can or you can't. So right. what? So what is the? What do so I do? You're at your desk. Okay. You turn. You face it. Yeah. Okay. You get your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Okay. Lock your fingers under the edge. Now the first thing people are going to do is you off to round four. That's what lift, I did. Yeah. Lift your chest up. Good. Good. And that's right. So as you press your fingers into the desk, you'll feel your your tummy get a little tight. So as you're going into the squat, this is going to allow you to get a lot deeper than you usually would while staying tall through the upper back. You have nice and deep, drive with the heels to come back, push the ground down. Don't think of lifting yourself up. Again, come all the way down. You can even at the bottom relax a little bit, let your butt go all the way to your heels. Just keep pressing your hands up. That pushing your hands up is what's giving you the balance. It's firing your core to help you maintain your posture and get nice and deep. It's not actually easy. I mean, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. These things are no joke. Yeah, but you can do it with the help of for the sure, desk. For sure, for sure. Some people will fall back. Some people feel like they fall forward in a squat. They just can't get that deep. You try this, you're going to get a lot deeper than you could. All right. That's it. That's it. Pump the blood. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. So Zenon does, from time to time, Skype personal training sessions. You train me. I am a huge fan. I never would have thought I would have liked, you know, Skype personal training. One of the beautiful things is when it's over, I can just close you and you're gone. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, he is offering, what are you offering? A couple free sessions. Some, I don't know how many. I'm going to put a link. You can, uh, uh, you know, inquire and uh, it's really 
worth it. So inquire, check Zenon out. Zenon, thank you so much for coming and spend some time with us. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, we need like a cool something or other. All what right. do we got? We got one of those handshakes. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next one.